one of the challenges right now is certainly the cost of some of these treatments. And hopefully that comes down over time as more and more drugs are created and approved and, and therapies become more robust with, with the help of companies like Ozmind, I imagine. One of the things I really like about what you're doing is not everyone necessarily has access to the treatment from a cost perspective or even a location perspective. There's not a ketamine clinic in every town in the country, but you've created this online community for people with treatment resistant mental health issues. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we're really happy to have our online community. It's just, it's at members.osmind.org and it's open to, for anyone to use, not just ketamine patients, although it is primarily composed of folks who are interested in ketamine and alternative mental health treatments. But we actually just launched it during COVID. We were building our software and we like basically took a pause and we're like, wow, COVID is just getting out of control. This is like right in mid-March when shit was hitting the fan. And mm -hmm. we launched the community and blasted it to like Reddit and Facebook and got a bunch of clinics to publicize it. And it's been really great. Yeah. So we've got hundreds, if not thousands of patients on there who asked a bunch of questions. Like I'm looking at it now. I think the first question is what do you listen to or watch during your ketamine infusion? And the next one is about psychedelic advocacy and how to get involved. So just yeah, a fun place where people can hopefully find support. It's really still so stigmatized. Like I, I live in the Bay Area where I'm, for better or for worse, not really thinking about things like that. But we talk to people who live in Arkansas or Missouri and just places other than the more liberal coastal areas where like it is so stigmatized still and people are, are embarrassed to tell their family about it. And we just wanted to provide somewhere for folks to get help and ask people questions that they might be afraid of asking out loud.